all right traders uh, welcome to yet another video on pi uh, now i'm going to speak about uh, how to place a cover order in pi so uh, let me just brief about what cover order is about um, see uh, say you want to look at this uh, crude oil right now it's trading at 3383 okay now uh, if you're buying at 3383 and say you want to put a stop loss at uh, 3375 we'll have to place two separate orders one buy at 3383 and one stop loss at 3380 uh now the thing with cover order is you can place both the orders in one order window okay so i'm going to place uh, i'm going to just show you how to place the order i click on the crude oil contract choose cover order in this click on buy cover order when as soon as i click on this you will find uh, order type as limit or market in pi software you can you can choose whether you want to buy at uh, uh, limit or you want to mark, uh, buy at market that means whether you want to specify a price of 3383 or you want to buy it at market price both the things can be specified if i select market it will be bought at the market price <clears throat> so this order form is very much similar to the normal order form like if you place the order to normal product type or to mis uh, how the order form will look like the cover order window uh, the post this portion of the cover order window is uh, similar to the normal uh, buy order entry form there are not much differences okay so you have to either select limit or market enter the quantity and uh, if it is limit you have to also specify the price let's say i want to buy it 3383 only and uh, this uh, the one um, the bottom section is uh, for the st selling stop loss um, okay uh, if you have gone through my video uh, previous video on stop loss uh, i was telling you that for a buy order the stop loss which we place is called as a selling stop loss basically when you are placing a, a stop loss for an existing buy order you are agreeing to uh, exit the trade at a lower price that means to exit the trade with the loss so you are buying at 3383 right now and in the bottom you will find a trigger price range okay so this trigger price range uh is displayed by the uh pi software you cannot modify this all right this is uh, a range given based on the last traded price okay so 1.9% below the last traded price is the trigger price range what i am saying is if you open the calculator <coughs> Three three eight three is the price. Now you calculate one point nine percent of this, so it is sixty four point two seven, right? So three three eight three minus the value of sixty four point two seven will give you the range which is shown here three three one nine to three three eight three. Okay, so you cannot change this window as well as this window. Uh, this window you cannot change. The only thing thing that you can uh, edit. is the trigger price so this trigger price you can put as a price um which is between these two ranges i mean within this range so say i want to put a stop loss of 3380 so i'll select the trigger price as 3380 one thing you need to remember is you cannot place a stop loss below 3319 as of now the minimum uh, price at which you can place the stop loss is the least price at which you can place the stop loss is 3319 um uh, but i am i am selecting as 3380 once i submit what will happen is this will be split into two orders one buy at 
and one stop loss at 3380 um, I'm just clicking on submit clicking on yes so if at all the order would have got uh, completed the buy order would have completed this whatever you see as a second order here will be shown as complete okay and whatever you see as SLM will be showing in the pending order window as a pending order uh, with a stop loss uh, one thing you need to remember is you can click on the pending stop loss and modify whenever you want but you cannot cancel the stop loss this is one thing you need to remember all right so one more thing about the cover order is uh, you cannot place a target order for a cover order so you may ask me how do you exit only way you can exit is see if at all you have bought it at 338 you need to uh, keep observing whether you are making a profit or not okay so go to positions go to admin positions if at all there is a profit it will be indicating in the market column say I've got uh, 100 rupee profit what you need to do is you cannot square off the cover order from here you need to go back to the order book click on the pending stop loss whichever is shown here and click on exit once you do exit whatever you uh, put the stop loss here that stop loss will be converted to a market uh, order so there are two advantages with cover order uh, to sum up one advantage is uh, you can place the buying order as well as stop loss both the orders in a single order form or single order entry form like this okay this is the buying and this is the stop loss uh, window combined into one order form uh, this is the advantage one more advantage that you get is you will get more leverage in a cover order compared to MIS I repeat you will get always higher uh, leverage in cover order compared to MIS so uh, what you need to do is if you want to know the margin requirement for uh, cover order just go to the margin calculator go to the B1 and C1 section in this you select uh, the segment as uh, MCX instead of equity select MCX select crude oil again price as uh, 3383 and uh, put the stop loss as 3380 click on buy click on calculate so it is, it is showing margin required is 4737 um, okay this 71.4 times leverage it is showing based on the contract value that is uh, that's what it is showing here but uh, if you if you compare with the MIS let's check how much is the margin required in MIS in MIS you need 11600 as the margin in cover order you need approximately 5000 uh, all right so for an intraday trader uh, a cover order will be helpful if at all he knows very well uh, how much risk he should be taking how much risk he wants to take if he's very 100% uh, sure of how much risk he wants to take then he can go for uh, cover order all the traders uh, hope you enjoy with this enjoyed this video uh, please uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you